In this video, we will build an app using Objective-C. Okay, so now I will open Objects Code app. Now I will create a new project. Make the window big. So in this window, I will select iOS, then App. Okay, now I will give the project's name as Simple Timer with um, using Objective C. Okay, so you make sure that your interface is selected to Storyboard and your language as Objective C. Okay, now I'll click on Next to save it in my desktop. Okay. So now I'll head towards the main storyboard file. Close that window. Now I'll drag in a label. Okay, by compressing Command Shift L. Um, there. Now, uh, okay. Now I'll change the text alignment by clicking on this option alignment over here I'll go to the size inspector I'll change it to like this so over here is a preview so I'll go back to the attributes inspector and change the color I'll also change the text to 60 so I'll have 60 seconds I'll make it big Okay, that's enough. So I'll close these both tabs. I'll click on the menu option here and an assistant. I'll bring that like that. Make this big. Okay. So now I'll head towards the dot h file. Now I'll uh, drag it by pressing Ctrl and drag like that and then i'll give the name as timer label for the label okay so now i'll go back to the dot m file now I'll, we'll start by declaring an integer variable it's timer name as timer okay and another variable of an s timer I'll name it as my uh, timer like that. Now I'll head towards the view did load and I'll get assign timer with 60. Okay. Now uh, we'll create a function named as start timer. Now I'll call it. To call it, to for call the function, to write the following code. Okay. So now, inside the start timer, I'll give the square brackets. I'll give timer, uh, my timer, use the my timer variable, and invalidate. Next, I'll also again use the my timer equals to we'll use the square brackets, then ns timer. Uh, ns timer. Then we'll get the schedule. So we'll use the second one, which is schedule timer. So it creates a timer and schedules it on the current run loop in the default mode okay so we'll click on that okay. so first we'll set the ns time interval as 1.0 then the target as self 
So select, we have to make uh, another function. So we'll give selector as uh, tick. So I'll give timer tick. And then user info will give uh, um, nil. And in the repeats, we'll give yes in capital. Okay. So then uh, we'll make the create this function oh, which is named as timer tick. So now the warning should go. Okay. So now inside the timer tick we'll use a timer minus minus so in this statement we are going to minus the value of timer so we'll minus by one so it becomes 59 and 58 and 57 all the way to zero but we should give a condition to make it stop but before that we have to also display the text for that we'll use the uh, declare the ns string variable named as timer uh, text and for that we'll use the uh, curly uh, square brackets and then we'll use string alloc so we are allocating memory for it and then inside that we'll in it with format we have to use the integer format because the timer is integer so for that we'll use person d then with comma we'll use the timer variable okay next we will show the text in the label so for that we have to use self dot timer label dot text to change the text we'll use the timer text variable okay so now we'll check this out in our simulator uh, i'll change this to some 10 seconds so i have to also change that Ten seconds. That's so. We'll leave it for ten seconds now. Uh, oh, I gave it to the phone instead of selecting simulator. So I selected iPhone 11 and click click the button. So now we have the timer. So it's five, four, three, two. Now we'll see, it will not stop in zero. It will go to minus one, then three, then four. So to uh, um, solve this issue, we'll give an if condition. For that, we'll solve that. We'll check the timer. The timer variable if it's zero the value is zero it came to zero and then we'll stop the timer by that okay. we'll also give a ns log will means we we'll print a line with ns log like that we'll give timer came down to zero 
and the zero like that yeah. so I'll run that again okay so now we have got that the simulator okay now see that it's not going further than zero and you also see the timer came down to zero okay so that means uh, now we'll uh, also give another if condition a small if condition so we'll change the color as it comes to five the text color so we'll change it to five then we'll use the cell timer label dot text color now we'll use the text color for that we'll use ui color dot red okay so this will change the uh, text color of the label so we'll run that again okay now you see that it changed the color okay so that means that our uh, program is working fine okay. thank you for watching this video and i hope you found this video interesting